Today I'm going to show you how to make your own personalized journals. So I've got my journal here that I bought at Michael's for a dollar and I'm going to stick some masking tape right along the spine so that I don't get any paint right there and so it doesn't crack. And then you're going to put a piece of paper or magazine in between the cover and the first page so that you don't get any paint on your pages. And then first of all, you're gonna take gesso paint, and we're gonna do about five coats, so it doesn't have to be very thick when you first start. And just do long strokes, and do it as thin as possible. Make sure your brush isn't pointing like this, you want it flat. So I finished the first coat and I'm just going to stick my paintbrush in water. And then you're going to take a blow dryer and blow dry it so that it dries really fast and you can do your next coat. So now I finished blow drying and it's all dry. So now you're going to take your brush out of the water and squeeze all the paint off. It's a little bit messy. And then make sure it's all the way dry because if it isn't, then it will take some of your paint that you just put on off. Then you're just going to put another coat on. Don't worry about covering the letter up because you're going to be putting a few more coats on. So Just do it the same way and then Make sure your brush is always flat and not pointed. Okay. And then put your brush in the water and blow dry it. second layer is dry now, so we're ready for our third layer, and we're going to go in the opposite direction. Just very thin, okay, and then blow dry it again. So you've dried your brush again, you're ready for your fifth coat, your final coat, and you're going to go up and down with this one. And do it a little bit thicker. And then you're ready to blow dry it. And you don't have to use a blow dryer, you can let it air dry, but it just takes longer. So that you've done enough layers of gesso that you can no longer see the color, you're ready to move on to the next step. I've got three paints here: cream, orange, and yellow. And I'm just using acrylic paint. So you're gonna cover paint your whole cover with using cream. Okay, so I've switched to a smaller brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of cream and a little bit of yellow. And I'm just gonna start in the middle and just do X's. And take a little more. You don't have to cover every spot. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna take a little orange some more X's. And then I don't want it to be so brilliant, so I'm gonna wet my brush, dry it, and then put some more cream on so that it's not so brilliant. So I finished painting my cover and I'm going to blow dry it, but if you don't want to do that, you just let it air dry. Just take longer. Now you're going to set your journal aside. I cut out some designs using the silhouette. I used an old cereal box because it's thicker than paper and I want it to stand out on my journal. You can see uh, on this journal I made, it's sticking up a little. going to paint your designs and I've picked a brown for my boot. So now that you've got all your pieces painted, you're going to lay them face down on a plate. Just 
just a couple of pieces at a time, and then you're going to go outside and spray the spray adhesive on them. And um, it dries really fast, so just a couple of pieces at a time. I decided I wanted the background to stand out more, so I took a brown paint, and first I dipped a piece of paper towel in water, and then I dipped it in the brown paint. Dipping it in water and paint, then I rubbed it over the cover, and it went into the cracks. And then if you think that you've got too much brown, then you can dip your paper towel in the water and rub some of it off. Now that I've sprayed my pieces, they're ready to put on the journal. You have to do it pretty fast, right after you spray? Yes, very fast because it dries. Once you've got them where you want them, then just take this paper, put it over top, and just gently push it down. So now I've got all my pieces glued onto the front cover. Now what we're going to do is move to the back and move our paper. And then we're going to put about five coats of gesso on the back, just like we did the front. Now you're ready for your final step. You're going to want to spray some polycrylic finish on it to give it a protective finish and a little bit of sheen. Make sure you do it outside because it's messy. After you spray the finish on it, you're going to want to blow dry it again. Hope you enjoy making one.